Politically, what would you change about Jamaica right now? What bothers you? What disturbs you? No, what bothers me and what disturbs me are the same sentiment. The people them are the right as a shield. That's why I'm here. So, Mr. Bowling will make it clear. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Man. You got what you got yesterday at the PNP's conference. A man of questionable character is hailed as a hero. I'm going to tell the item everything. Stay tuned. Yeah. I'm say to the TV. Tougher than them granny TV. I watched it carefully and I listened to the commentary, fielded the calls, made calls myself, and uh, I will begin with this. We are at best, a year out from the general elections. It is the last conference of the opposition, likely the last, before it goes into a do-or-die election. The PNP is politically desperate. It cannot fathom the thought of being in opposition for three consecutive terms. It cannot, it has never been in opposition for three consecutive terms. In the history of its 86 years, it has never been in opposition for more than two terms of a government, eight, ten years. Therefore, the comrades are desperate to win. They recognize that it's all to play for. And why do I begin with that? Because one, it is shaping their political strategy and thoughts, conduct, and behavior. At a time when, frankly, in terms of its leadership, it is under inexperienced political leadership at the national level. The leadership of the People's National Party now, as it is, is inexperienced. Just check it. Mark Golding. A relative newbie to politics. He didn't come up through the political ranks. Yes? Look who he has as general secretary. Relatively inexperienced as well and young. And when you look at what the attempted to do yesterday, you saw that lack of experience, that lack of political management skills, that lack of understanding of the importance of making sure you build coalitions the People's National Party, as Michael Manley wrote 
Bertram wrote, all of them, is a coalition. It's a national coalition of interests and classes in Jamaica. But that coalition has been unraveling. And this is where I want you to listen. Okay, it's unraveling. The People's National Party came out of the bowels of the middle class of this country. The teachers, the lawyers, the doctors, yes, the professional artisans who, after 62, saw leadership, national leadership, thrusted upon them and rose to the occasion. Unlike the Labour Party, who came out of the bowels of labour, the working classes. And that is why, over the years, the leadership of the PNP was a more qualified on paper, more educated, because Norman Manley's party of 1938 at the ward was built around a coalition of interests. And what happened yesterday And let me be specific. Golding had a job to do. What was that job? He had to demonstrate to the people at home and some in the audience because I saw some in the audience that one, we're not only united, we're not only on the cusp of political power, as they say, they're leading in the polls, but we, we have a platform of policies, ideas, initiative, on which we are going to go to the Jamaican people and ask them for their support. That was part of Golding's job yesterday. And he clearly attempted to do it. I thought he made some good points. Yes? The issue of education. An issue that the PNP has lost to the JLP. Yeah? But most of what he came with are not, hmm organically new ideas which is not necessarily bad for a parliamentary democracy it's not necessarily bad because you have to run relays in state governance one administration is to pick up from another yeah so that's not inherently bad but the point i'm making where i began about the coalition of interests The people of the middle classes in this country, the middle classes, the middling classes, the professionals, we have abandoned the politics. We no longer participate in the group meetings of the People's National Party or the branch meetings of the Labour Party. We stay home. And as one person put it to me this morning, we are glued into the American presidential election following Trump and Kamala. But we don't take an active interest any longer in what goes on inside the People's National Party and the Jamaica Labour Party. We have abandoned that. To who? We have abandoned that political process to who Professor Don Robotham 
accurately but disparagingly described some years ago as a lumpens. The people who vote are not from the middling classes or the middle classes anymore. It is those at the base of the society. Those people vote. Those people go to conferences. Those people pack the arena. And what are we left with? We are left with a political process that is devoid without that input of the middle classes, the educated middle classes who historically have provided leadership in the country. We have left it up. And therefore, you got what you got yesterday at the PNP's conference. A man of questionable character is hailed as a hero. And by the calculation of Dayton Campbell and Mark Golding, they have an election to win. And he has a whole lot of influence and sway. Therefore, they're not comfortable with it. When you listen to Campbell, Dayton Campbell and Angela Brown Burke struggling to justify it. But their calculation is we must win and win at all cost. While you were listening to me this morning in northern St. Andrew, the suburbs, yeah? You wouldn't go to a conference. You don't even go vote. You're not going to vote. But those 15,000 at the arena yesterday, they vote. They do have a problem with that gentleman. They don't. They welcome him because they know it is going to resonate in their communities, in their districts, in their bars. But you turn up your noses and your faces at it and condemn it as it ought to be. As it ought to be. But what do you do about it? What do you expect when you turn your back? on the process and you leave it up to them that's what we get and I dare say this morning we are facing an existential threat to our democracy if more and more of us who this country has educated given us a fairly decent life refuse continue to refuse to participate then we're going down that slippery slope of no return so when you condemn this morning also commit that you must go back Find out which group is meeting, which branch is meeting, so you can go in there. Can you imagine? Just think about it. When that decision was made to have that gentleman on the stage, not in the audience, on the stage, who in the leadership of the PNP was courageous enough to stand up and say, no, not a backside. Who 
was courageous enough to do that. Huh? Where was Peter Bunting? Find that clip with Peter Bunting for me. That speaks to that gentleman. Where were they? Yeah? We're joking. As Tani TV, I get the bodies and the sickest and the maddest set of reviews them on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, I said, Tani TV. Tougher than them Granny TV. I 